Father, we thank God again for another day of worship. And we can come and give God praise and glory for all the wonderful and marvelous things that he has, is, and guess what? We'll do. Amen. He's still got some blessings in store for you. Look at your neighbor real quick and say, are you next in line? For a blessing. Come on, I wish somebody would help me this morning. You are next in line for a blessing. Amen. That's why I love that song. It says, Pass me not, old Jim Savior. Amen. Hear my humble cry while all others thou art calling. Don't pass me by. Amen. Listen, when somebody is getting a blessing, don't get mad. Don't hate. As a matter of fact, rejoice with them because you know that you one step closer. Come on, somebody. You one person closer. Amen. That's why I want, I want you, 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 you. I want all of y'all to get your blessings so that when they come around to me, I, I, I want to be able to say, Lord, you blessed everybody, but you didn't forget about me. Health and strength, God has been good to you. With all the stuff that's going on around, the Lord has uh, let His angels watch over us night and day. Come on, with all that stuff, viruses is going around. God has kept you away from the viruses. Amen. You don't know who you are next to and who you work with. It. Coughing, hacking, and sneezing, and all that kind of stuff. And yet the Lord has still blessed you to have health and strength. Amen. Amen. Get up in the morning and go about your day to day business. Come on, somebody. And that's a blessing that comes uh, from the Lord. I'm glad to see who's that right there. That is. I don't know who you are. That's right, you. Stand on up. Mother Darby's here this morning. Amen. So don't tell me that God don't still heal. Come on, come on. I magnify him greatly. Yes. Yes, Lord. Yes. I just do some things. Yes, yes. Oh, but I tell you this one thing, God has brought me through. I'm going yes. in the process of healing. But yes. I know he's going to complete the job if he don't do anything halfway. Yes, right. Yes. 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 Bless his name. Bless his name. Yes. Hallelujah. Rejoice with them that rejoice. Yes, yes, yes. Amen, amen. Let's give God a hand of praise. We used to sing a song years ago, said God is still working miracles in my life. Amen. Mother, you know, that, 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 that scripture with the lepers, the lepers were going, and, and the Bible said, and they were healed as they went. It's a process. Sometimes God does it instantaneously. Sometimes God allows the healing process because he knows our bodies. And what it takes, it, the key is he's still healing. Come on, somebody. He's still healing. Amen. Amen. Well, I'm excited for this month. Do you know what this month is? Not just March and the March winds is going to blow. This is Women's History Month. We, we, we went from black history to women's history. Right. But women have been making black women have been making history all ever since they stepped foot on this earth. Yeah. Yeah. And so we celebrate all of our sisters on this month for your uh, uh, contributions and your work. Uh, oftentimes it goes unnoticed Amen. by many, but it don't go unnoticed by everybody. Amen. Amen. Thank God for the mothers. Wait till Mother's Day to appreciate you. We thank God for the mothers. Amen. Amen. That took care of us when we couldn't take care of ourselves. 
Hello, somebody. Amen. Amen. No matter good mother, bad mother, missing mother, disappointed mother, it's still mother. And the Bible said, honor your father and your mother that your days may be long and that with promise. Amen. So we have to honor our mothers. God gave us only one. Ain't but one mother you can have. Amen. You know, it, it, it bothers me to no end to see children disrespectful <clears throat> and talking to their mother like, like she's some, uh, uh, some nobody on the street. When you couldn't take care of yourself, when you couldn't even speak, you could cry and your mother knew what the cry meant. And took care of your old, old nasty self before you can... Before you can take care of yourself and then you got the nerve to be disrespectful. I wish I had a stick, I'd beat them in their head. Amen. Amen. So we thank God again uh, this month. Glad to see Bishop Darby here this on this morning. Sister yeah. Darby, our uh, most excellent and exquisite uh, uh, Christian education teacher. Amen. Yeah. Go down the line. Thank God for the ushers this morning. Thank God for Brother Michael, our technician extraordinaire. Keeps us on social media, adding and tweaking and putting little stuff here and there. And he's got a mind that's constantly working and doing for the church. And I thank God for it. Amen. My brother down there in that kitchen be whooping up that food on Sunday. Man, oh man, oh man. I, 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 we get two good meals. Well, we get three good meals. We get a message. We get a, a, a blessing at Sunday school. And we get a meal. I tell you, you can't do God. You know, I want to say all of you that come out every week and support all of our Administrative staff, thank you so very much for making sure that we keep a good count and record of our money. Amen. 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 She follows me on Facebook. Amen. Make sure that I don't get out of line on Facebook. Amen. Make sure I don't say nothing crazy on, on, on Facebook. Amen. Uh, she sits there quiet over in the cut, but she be watching everything going on now. Like the old folks used to say, every clothes I ain't shut. <laughs> and our music ministry, thank God for you this morning. Amen. Last but sure not least, thank you for starting on time. Hallelujah. to receive our morning offering uh, hope by now and I thank ushers for your diligence in getting our envelopes out and preparing uh, so that we can move expeditiously uh, we want to always remember that this is not just the first of the month but this is a part of our Christian worship and that is in giving Amen. 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 you can't be God giving no matter how hard you try God has been good to us all He said, give us this day our daily bread and God will do that. He has supplied us our need. Amen. Amen. And some of y'all got some of the wants too. Amen. Y'all better talk back to me. I had some of them wants. Well, I tell you, you got your hair done and you got your nails done and, and all them other little things and nuances y'all do and you got your shoes and you got your feet and everything else. So that means God is blessing somebody. Amen. Amen. And never take these things for granted. When you go by the streets uh, and you see those that are less fortunate, don't look down on them, but look up and ask God to give them help. Amen. Amen. We want to remember Sister Shannon this morning. Uh, uh, you got to listen to your body. Amen. And you 
got to be obedient when the doctor tells you what is necessary. I was at uh, working yesterday at the forum when Oprah was there and, and she was talking about how she thought it was just something small and minute and when she went to the doctor she had pneumonia and the doctor told her what to do and you know sometimes we feel that we can outwit and outdo the doctors but she followed the doctor's orders to the letter and she's well and up and she's doing uh, her uh, 2020 vision tour uh, but she emphasized the fact that she listened how not only the doctor but what her body within her told amen, her amen. and sometimes we just need to sit down and take some rest Hallelujah. y'all can get no amen on that some of y'all some of y'all still think that you have that jackrabbit spirit <laughs> You can just get up and go and go and go. Uh, after a while, go gets gone. Amen. 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 So you have to be careful of what's going on because it's a different. This is a different age we're living in. A different strain of viruses that are in the air. So you have to have your body built up. So your immune system will be able to fight off these things. God gives everything in your body to sustain itself. Amen, amen. But if you do get sick, the Bible, Jesus said this, they that are whole have not need of a physician, but they which are sick. Don't walk around like one group did some years ago, uh, 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 name it and claim it. All that kind of stuff and talking about you ain't sick and you <coughs> I'm not sick. <coughs> Sneezing on everybody. No, you, see, you are what it is. Those, those are the symptoms. Go take care of it. Amen. 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 There are some things night cool ain't gonna be able to do it now. Amen. You don't need some antibiotics and some medicine. Yes. Yes. Amen. 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 Stop playing because you Christian. Christians die too. Yes. Amen. Amen. I know y'all don't like to hear that, but they do. Amen. One church was telling folks that you can live as long as you want to live. Mm. And he started having funeral services week after week and, and had to change his message. Amen. You can live as long as you're obedient to your body and as long as God Amen. gives you strength to do that. And we all love to live a long life, but you can't violate your body and think you're going to live. Amen. Amen. Hello, Amen. somebody. And a lot of it is just a simple change in diet. Yes. Drinking more water and and, and, and eating less uh, of things that we came up on. We don't we don't need that now. We don't need all that. Uh, for those who you to do, do it in moderation. But we don't need all that fat back and chitlins and, <laughs> and hog malls and pig snoot and pig ears. You know, they ate everything from the rooter to the tutor now. You have to learn how to do it in moderation. It's not your everyday meal. Amen. Hello, somebody. You got to clean some of that stuff out. Amen. Amen. Y'all know hogs don't have veins, right? Amen. Uh -huh. And so all that stuff stays and packed it in. And especially with all that is going into the ground, all these nitrogen injected. Some of these, uh, I, I, I've seen some chicken so big, I was wondering it was a good was it baby turkey or what? Yeah, you go there and you know, run down to Popeyes and, and all these places and, 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 you, and you bite into it and grease flying everywhere and, and, and all that fat around it and then you get down and the meat just a little sliver of meat on the bone. And you say, ooh, that was some good chicken. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know chicken. Hey man, you, you, you need to do like, like you used to do back then before you start cooking them up, setting them up, you know what they did, clean them out. Yeah. Oh, y'all thought I've been in the city all my life. I don't know nothing about that. Yeah. Let's get ready to, to get that chicken. They took them up off the ground and, and put them up in that hen's coop and they ate on the grains of corn, cleaned them out. Yeah. And, you, and, and the truth of the matter is, the chickens back then taste a whole lot better than the chickens yeah. now. Yeah. Some of you young folks don't know nothing about that, but 
for those of us that have been around two, three days, we know how it is. It takes, it, it's a fresher, a better tasting with more nutrients. Notice back then they didn't have all these sicknesses that they had now. Hey Amen. Everybody gets sick and you're like, where did it come from? All that junk that they put in there because they, they making food a profitable industry. And especially in our community. There's three things you go find in our industry, in our community. almost every corner. You have a fast food place on every corner. And the other one I won't mention, Puff Puff Pass Pass. Especially now. Mm -hmm. See, so y'all think I'm crazy, but I'm telling y'all the truth. It may be funny, but I'm real about that. All right, but you offer lifted lift it toward heaven. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for each gift and giver. And now we ask that you take it, bless it, multiply it, break it. And any way you bless us, Lord, We'll be satisfied. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, you're in the hands of the usher. Please follow the directions of the ushers in the rear. Enough credit I know is given. A lot of times we have a 
tendency to be a little of human rights and freedom exist and are being challenged. Uh, we need not think that women are less important. They are extremely important and have been down through the portals of history. And they have played a very significant role 
in and through the history of mankind. Amen. Amen. I, I, I found this to be extremely interesting. This woman by the name of Deborah uh -huh. was a prophetess of God, of the Israelites, and she was a fourth judge right. of pre monoric Israel and the only female judge mentioned. Okay. Yes, sir. She was the wife of this one time mentioned. 